Hello and welcome to Survivor Chat. Before we get into our thoughts about the latest episode, I want to ask you guys a quick favor. If you give us a thumbs up, we'd really appreciate it. That helps us out. If you could subscribe, right now subscribe, that's great. That really helps out a lot. Also, tell a friend, share this video, let people know what we're doing over here at Crazy Hank TV. Thanks again. Now on to our thoughts about Survivor. Hello and welcome to Survivor Chat. I'm your host. Hey, thanks for the concern. I mean, she's laying there bleeding. No one's coming over to help. I mean, it is a social game. I mean, to be fair, I've, I've, I've cut myself shaving and had deeper cuts and, you know, more blood. But still, it's a social game. You think, hey, someone would come over and say, oh, yo, are you feeling all right? Do you need some help? You know, she's about ready to pass out. And she's laying there. Oh, it's to the bone. But anyway, uh, we had another interesting episode of Survivor, another blind side um, I guess we can start off with, uh, you know, they came back from camp, uh, last week's tribal and, and Jack handled the blind side really well. He did it the right way. He didn't make a big scene. He didn't go on and on like Aaron did. You know, he said, okay, you got me, you know, so like Jamal, not so much. He's still playing the anger game, you know, but it, we'll see what happens there. Uh, Vince is not buying the, uh, bro alliance. You know, hey, you tried to vote me out before. I, you know, I'm not buying it. Uh, they still want to get rid of Nora because she's annoying. <laughs> Poor Nora, she can't catch a break. And she doesn't learn, you know, I mean, obviously we're seeing what they're, they're, they're showing us editing-wise, but I think everyone coming back, we should just back off, Nora, back off. I know you're a take-charge person, but it's going to hurt your game. Uh, Jamal wants to get Dan out. So I don't know where Jamal wants to get Dan out. So we'll see what happens there. I think after you've, my theory is, my personal opinion, I guess, is is after you've been blindsided and you're on the outs, you probably shouldn't be demanding anything or making any moves like that in a group this large. I think it's just sit back and go, whatever the group decides, I'm with. But that's not how Jamal wants to handle it. Uh, Vince, he gets to go to Island, Island of the Idols. Um, a curse, a good thing, bad thing, we don't know. Uh, and then as he's gone, they, they, say, uh, they say, you know, he's, there's a possibility of getting an idol. So Dean goes, well, we need to split the vote, which is awkward because they know that someone there has to be the other person being voted. So Dean goes, oh, did I make a mistake? You know, sometimes, you know, you, you just, you, you're given, the, like you said, everybody was thinking it, but you can't be the one to say it. But anyway, we'll see what happens there. Uh, Vince has, uh, Vince meets uh, his, uh, meets the uh, great ones. And he gets emotional. He's crying and stuff like that. And it's, it was a, it was a touching scene, but his, his, challenge to have the idol for two days or two i'm sorry two tribals is to sneak into camp get fire come back and he gets an idol he has to sneak into the opposing camp uh they go through some uh, ridiculous drills where she's he's crawling on the sand and all this different stuff yeah i know it's just for show but it, it is what it is um uh, vince gets gets there there is no fire uh someone had a bad dream um, they kept waking up. He gets, there is no fire. So he gets, I, I thought it was pretty smart. He gathered the ashes to show that at least he got to the fire pit. And so he gets back to, uh, Island of the Idols and Sandra and Rob go, yeah, you adapted, you overcame. We're going to give you the idol. So now he has an idol for two tribal councils. So that's a, that's a good thing to have an idol for two tribal councils. The only thing that bothered me about this, we don't see him coming back to the tribe. It goes right to the immunity challenge, which I wanna see, obviously he didn't, he must not have said that again, the third time that this has happened, where no one is saying that Rob and Sandra, Sandra are over there. So we don't, I don't know what he, you know, I, we just don't know what happened. Uh, probably something with the editing, but I would have liked to have seen that. Uh, Jan, uh, the other thing, Janet has trouble, trouble on tying the buoy. She did a great job swimming. She's a lifeguard, but she gets they get way behind. Uh, like Lyru has a big, I think it's Lyru, has a big lead, a huge lead, but they can't do the puzzle. Can't solve the puzzle. So Vaiku wins, comes back out of nowhere, solving the puzzle. The tribe goes back. They, they start discussing things. It's, it's kind of mixed. The girls want to keep Vince. They want to vote out Tom. Some of the girls don't like the fact that the guys are coming to them saying, hey, this is who we want. They're, like, they're demanding this and they're, you know, dictating the game, which they didn't like. But it goes back and forth. And at this point, I honestly didn't know who was going to go home. I, I was worried it was going to be Tom. Uh, 
but Vince decides not to play his idol. Now, here's the, here's the thing. The problem with the, the way they have this set up now, you, people know that once you're going over there, even though they haven't let on that, that Sandra and Sandra and Rob are there, people know that you have a chance to get an idol. So that's almost like a, that's putting a target on your back. So when you come back, you say, hey, look, I got an idol. I have an idol. It's good for two tribals. Uh, people are going to flush it out. They wanted to flush it out anyway. Or do you keep it to yourself, not tell anybody, then you play the idol and people say, okay, this guy can't be trusted or this person can't be trusted. So it's almost like I don't want to get picked to go over there because the idol is only good for, like I said, two tribals. It does put a target on your back. Um, so I, I think Vince was, I mean, people are like, oh, Vince, you went home with an idol. I think Vince was in a kind of a no-win situation. I, I think the best thing to do, I guess, is come back and say, yeah, I went there and I got an idol. I have an idol and I'm going to play it tonight. And and play it, just get it out. Be I think that's, I think that's the best approach to handle this is to be honest up front. Say, look, I'm going to play it. Even if you, don't, even if they don't vote for you, I would play it because now you, if you play, if you play it and save yourself, people are going to say, oh, this guy cannot be trusted, or they can't be trusted. So it's a it's, it's a mess right now. I think I think like I said, it's it's a disadvantage going there. You're better off because you never want to leave the tribe. So I think it's a disadvantage getting getting the idol or getting, uh, not getting the idol, but getting getting sent there is a disadvantage. So it goes down to the tribal, comes down to the votes, and Vince does not play the idol, and Vince goes home, blindsided. Uh, again, I probably would, I would have played the idol. I would have played the idol. Again, I, I think the best strategy is just to come forward and say, yes, I have the idol. I'm going to play it and play it and just get it out and hope that you know, the next tribal, you're not, you're not a target. But Vince went home. I was kind of shocked by that because I, I thought it might have been someone else. But it is what it is. Poor Vince going home. But that's all we got. Uh, if you enjoy this video, give us a thumbs up. Share it with people. Subscribe. Subscribe right there. We'll have our more in-depth uh, uh, um, tribal council. We're, we changed the name to tribal council. That's our panel tomorrow. We'll be filming it tomorrow night, and it'll be out sometime Thursday night. But we appreciate your uh, support, and that's all we got. Thanks for watching. I'm out. Bye.